So Dr. Liss, could you tell me more, what are erythropoietin stimulating agents or ESAs? The ESAs are really uh, synthetic forms of the red blood cell hormone erythropoietin. They're given as an injection under the skin uh, anywhere from a weekly interval to every three to four weeks. And they're most affected in people that have low production of erythropoietin in their own bodies, and specifically in patients with lower risk MDS. So for those patients, regardless of the lower risk type of MDS, if their serum erythropoietin level is low, generally well below 200, and they're not receiving transfusions on a regular basis, they have a very high probability of that ESA to stimulate the bone marrow to make red blood cells and to bring them up into an asymptomatic area. And how often are these agents used and is there a, a, a time that you stop using these if the, if the red blood cells go too high? It's rare in MDS to see the hemoglobin or red blood cells to go excessively high. So that is something that we almost never see with an ESA. Um, but they work robustly, and when they do work robustly, it lasts an average of one to two years. Eventually, they start to lose their benefit, and at that point in time, we'll stop the treatment and go on to some other new treatment.